So I'm Dr. Sarah Glozer. I'm Associate Professor in Marketing and Society in the School of Management. So the Centre for Business Organisations and Society, or CBOS, is one of the biggest research centres in the School of Management. We have about 40 academics across the School of Management whose research broadly aligns with the idea of responsible business practice. So I'm Deputy Director of the Centre and what we do is we bring leading experts in academia and practice from across the world um, to share their insights with us internally and we also focus on building collaborations and promoting research internally. It's a really important time for us to consider the role that technology plays in our lives and my specific research interests are to understand business responsibility in this digital age. So what I try to do through my research is is encourage this kind of critical reflection around how businesses can play a more positive role in society. So I think digital advertising has become so contentious, largely because of the Cambridge Analytica scandal that, that broke last year. Whilst there'd been so much promise about these technologies and the role that they play in society, the fact that actually we needed to understand a little bit more about how our data was being used, whether or not it was being actually used to shape democratic processes, which was the case at Cambridge Analytica. And this is quite a worrying prospect in society when you think about the power these technology giants have. And, and really it's the, the, the kind of fact that our data is being used um, and commercialised in a way that perhaps that, you know, we were never really aware of. So I think that that's, that's something that's driven this kind of slightly critical turn around digital advertising. So there's a real danger that we can kind of go to the extremes with this and start to create kind of sensitization and sanitization of online worlds if we're not careful. And a really good example of this is uh, the, the kind of ad verification industry as it's called. Um, these processes that go on um, often behind closed doors in these super complex digital supply chains which are designed to protect brand safety. So the reason for this is that brands don't want to be associated with content that might be problematic. So a couple of years ago, it was found on YouTube that L'Oreal advertisements were next to extremist content. And this creates some quite interesting and potentially very problematic discussions from a brand perspective in terms of reputation, because obviously you do not want to have your brand seemingly potentially funding or supporting these kinds of narratives, these kinds of quite damaging narratives. This can be slightly problematic and perhaps can lead to sensitization in that good journalism perhaps won't be rewarded with advertising if it's contentious. We probably need to have a bit of a think about the future in terms of better regulation, more transparency around these complex supply chains. The Advertising Standards Authority has issued advanced digital advertising guidance. Ofcom are trying to kind of put more focus around this as well in terms of regulating social media platforms. And I think that hopefully these, these steps will help to inform users and perhaps create more uh, digital literacy. What we really need to focus on is this need for critical reflexivity. It's about knowing the implications of the decisions that you make, being able to question and call out things that perhaps you're not sure about, being able to put yourself in the user's shoes and say, actually, would I want my data to be used in this way? So I think that kind of critical reflexivity is really, really important. And I think that hopefully uh, the students of today will have the key skills needed. Mm -hmm.